We have scheduled a healthy weekend. They are playing tennis while I was swimming, or should I say, dip my toes in the pool. Kind of craving for good quality protein after all this workout. How about a Cantonese style healthy steamed fish? I guess I've never been as bold as you. You put a little bee in my heart. One cloth of garlic. And now it's my turn. But where do I start? You got me Means half of them, with the other half chopped in large chunks. You got my whole heart screaming it. And you got the whole dance for feeling it. You caught me off guard with your rhythm so smooth. Gotta take it all in. One ginger sliced into large pieces. Scallions prepare in two ways cut into quarters, the bottom half we will save for later. And finally, chop the top half, julienne, and leave in a bowl of water. Next, we will prepare the leek. Roll it up and julienne. Prepare our coriander in two ways also. Dice the stems, and with the leaves, we will chop and set aside. One red chili, cut into strips, and remove the seeds. And thus you are ready for a spicy kick. Now, get ready for the biggest challenge of this dish. Make sure you got good quality fresh fish and make sure you wash the inside thoroughly. Clean the guts and any residual blood, especially around the spine. That's where the fishy smell comes from. Pat it down with a kitchen towel to get rid of the nasty smell after steaming it. Why I don't know. I guess I've never been as bold as you. you put Score the skin two to three times on each side to make sure it steams and cook evenly. But where do I start? You got me hooked in like an upbeat chorus. Got me on my knees begging for it. You got my whole heart screaming it. And you got the whole dance for feeling it. You caught me off guard with your rhythm so smooth. Gotta take it all in. Lay the scallions on the bottom of the plate under the fish. Not only allows the steam going up, but also full of flavoring. Just one little thing you got wrong. It's okay, here we go again. Put a slice of ginger to where we score the fish. Don't forget to put some ginger and garlic in the belly. You. 
and of course, on top of it, use a large wok and bring the water up to a boil and leave it on high heat. Steam this fish for around 10 minutes and then place the finely chopped scallions and leek from earlier on top and let the fish rest a bit. While resting, let's prepare the Cantonese sauce. Some white pepper, salt, sugar, and some Japanese soy sauce or seafood soy sauce. Here I use the Japanese soy sauce for a sweeter profile. Add a little bit of water and mix it well. This is the scallion oil that I made earlier. I'm going to heat it up. Sprinkle minced garlic and coriander leaves on top of the fish. Also, of course, don't forget about the teeny tiny chili. Carefully pour the boiling hot oil on top and you will smell the fragrance being released. Lastly, sauce on top. Voila! Sauce goes well with the rice, I, I think. That's what I did. Yeah. That's what experts did. Needs a bit more soy sauce, but it's good. <laughs> it's not salty enough? It's not salty enough. Okay. Oh, you didn't put salt. I, I did. Mm. But good. Fish. It's salty enough? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. Don't know you're doing this. What about the texture? Okay. Okay. Mmm, it's really fresh. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on seasoning. <laughs> Someone said this is not salty enough. You know? He's the one cleaning up the place. Hey, look, there's Wait. a lot of hungry people in the world. You don't want to waste food. All right. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> Oh, this kimchi rice is good. Yeah. How do you know? Look at the accent.